I'm David Rotatori, President and CEO of Ion Bank, and together with my wife Pam, we are chairing this year's United Way campaign. Thank you to everyone who has made a pledge or contribution. If you haven't participated yet, please consider a donation at unitedwaygw.org. One thing we can all be proud of is that this community helps others when they're down. Join us and give a voice to those in need today. Hello once again and welcome to part two of our special Help Every Voice Be Heard episodes on the United Way of Greater Waterbury podcast, The Way Forward. I'm your guest host, Glenn McCabe with United Way. If you haven't experienced part one, I encourage you to give it a listen after today's episode. This episode brought to you by United Way of Greater Waterbury Platinum Sponsor, Ion Bank. Learn more at ionbank.com. In fact, you'll hear from some Ion Bank volunteers in today's episode. As mentioned in part one, the 2023-2024 United Way campaign theme, Help Every Voice Be Heard, provided the perfect opportunity for our podcast, inspiring us to capture powerful perspectives of people across the region describing why United Way is such a vital community resource in their own words. For the first time here, we have combined these stories to provide deeper and richer insights into the work you help make possible through your support of United Way. In part two, you'll experience stories from several of our youth-focused programs along with partners providing crisis services, reentry services, opioid intervention, and so much more. First up, we visit with some young participants in one of United Way's newest initiatives, providing mindfulness programs through our partners at Copper Beach Institute. I'm excited that we've been able to partner with the United Way to bring mindfulness education to the youth of Waterbury as a parent, as a community member, and as a practitioner. The goal is to um, help support in social emotional learning in a way that reminds each of us that we have the power within us to control our own emotions, our own outcomes, and the ways that we react to the world. Mindfulness makes me feel happy and comfortable and it makes me feel really calm. And I think the program is actually kind of fun because we have this like game where it's kind of like the silent game but you just have to be quiet and if my teacher ever says we're going to play the silent game then silent game we are going to we are going to definitely win. It's really fun like they teach you a lot of mindfulness stuff. I really like it. Yeah, these dollars go a long way because these youth are going to be the future of our community. And if the future of our community is rooted in mindfulness and contemplative practices, our community is going to grow uh, tremendously in uh, health and and wealth, not necessarily monetary wealth, but uh, wisdom. My name is Olivia Dudley. I am the Director of Programs here at Waterbury Youth Services. Um, really thank United Way for their partnership. They sponsor three of our programs, including Linking Academics to Life, where we can provide youth stipends so that they can continue to work and learn a lesson and have some pro-social activities while they're here at the agency. They also um, fund our Youth and Family Emergency Services Program, which offers supervised visitation, free counseling, and support services for youth who are experiencing homelessness and they also fund our power program and power is a program for women who speak Spanish um, and that is their first language to come and learn how to open their own daycare um, so United Way has been just a really great partner in helping us and supporting us with those programs Hi, I'm Donna Maglio, the Executive Director here at Girls Inc. of Greater Waterbury. Um, we are very proud of our long-standing partnership with the United Way. So our girls, right now we serve girls 5 to 18, and they go on, they are life ready. So some choose to go to college, trade schools, um, start their own jobs. The programs here are uh, learning through play, hands-on, minds-on. So everything that they learn here takes them through life through every step of the next way. Social, emotional, physical, learning through play, learning through failure. Um, all of those things are encouraged, which keep our girls uh, learning and striving for that next thing they want. Uh, Jim Rourke, uh, Greater Waterbury YMCA CEO. 
Uh, the relationship with the United Way, uh, I've been a part of the Waterbury Way now for uh, 13 years. Uh, it's such important resources that the United Way provides to the Y, uh, supporting our school readiness program, our uh, Berkeley Rec Center, as well as uh, our camp programs. Um, it's incredible the work they do. Um, they also support our after school programs as well. Um, our clientele is that we support families uh, before and after school programming, our preschoolers ages three to five. Of course, you know, your other programs at the Y, such as swim lessons and adult classes and all that type of stuff. And collectively, we service about 22 thousand people. We're fortunate enough the United Way comes and supports us on um, different community cleanup days uh, over at the Y, the uh, Day of Caring, um, as well as coming into our preschool programs and reading to our little ones, which is great. Hi, I'm Gary Steck. I'm the CEO at Wellmore Behavioral Health, and the United Way um, has been a long-term funder for decades. I, I've been involved for 25 years, both as a donor and also as a recipient. Thousands and thousands of, of families and children and adults are served every year. Without the United Way, we would be lost. Uh, thank you for your long-term support. We really appreciate the way in which you intervene and help us with children's mental health. We partner with the United Way in many different ways. So we're the mobile crisis provider for this region. So 211 obviously is a key partner in that they filter and um, connect us with cases of the people that are in most risk and we then send our teams out to them. But there have been many dozens of projects over my time in 25 years because the needs of Waterbury and Greater Waterbury constantly change, we have to reprioritize when there's a new arising need and the United Way is always at the center of that. Hi, my name is Ann. I'm here with Ion Bank's team. We're painting hallways and walls at the Morris House. It's great to be involved in the community. It's a nice way to get out um, and do our part for Waterbury and for United Way. We identify many opportunities in the community for all of our employees to volunteer in the community. Yeah. We're yep. thankful to work for an employer that actually supports volunteerism and activism so that we can be involved with our community. Appreciative it doesn't even begin to express how much thanks we have for the volunteers that are providing their time and talent today. We are painting away here. I have been working with Day of Caring projects for 17 years. And this by far is one of the best. We have, the, we have three teams of volunteers in here today all at once. That's never happened to us. We are at Morris House, and, which is a recovery home for uh, men. And we have been in dire need of volunteers to roll up their sleeves and get down and dirty with us. And that's what's happening today, and great things are coming from it. Um, with the partnership today, why it's so amazing, it's so important for our clients to see the community coming in and giving back. You know, this is where they live, this is where they are every day, um, and it's an important place for their recovery and stabilization in their recovery. So to see the community come in and help make their, their home somewhere um, that's nice to be and nice to look at is really important as well. Morris House is a program that is underfunded by our grant providers. Um, in, the state particularly. So this project, that's why a building like this somehow gets neglected because we don't have the extra funds to be able to put in. I know it sounds simple that just painting we should be able to do, but this is a five floor building that is enormous. So painting this building would probably cost $15,000. So the work they're doing here, the in-kind work they're doing here today equals dollars that we don't have to spend. So that's why it's so tremendous and we're so thankful. So we work closely with the Department of Correction and the Reentry Counselors in all of, all of the facilities across the state. Mm -hmm. And so we get referrals from DOC, whether, you know, a week, two weeks, a month out, that they're coming to people <laughs> uh, on a Friday afternoon, <laughs> we've got someone who's coming to your doorstep, right? Mm -hmm. And so before these centers existed, uh, so we run the one here and the one in Hartford. They were dropped off on street corners. So in Hartford, on the Green, you Clear know, Lafayette bag. Street, mm -hmm. on the courthouse run for the women at 6 in the morning. Mm -hmm. What's open at 6 in the morning? And you're dropped there with, if you're lucky, belongings. Um, lucky if you have identification. Lucky if you have something that says who you are, right? And so now these centers are, are imperative for those coming back. And then we know if they're homeless, they tell us if they're homeless, housing insecure, <coughs> do they have a residence, are they going to our AIC, um, do they have identification. So we know all that ahead of time. 
So just want to, you know, obviously thank the United Way of Greater Waterbury. Um, Karen Mello has been part of our reentry council for years. Her involvement has been, you know, really critical. Um, she, per, you know, lets us know when there's opportunities that, that can um, offer services to our participants, such as the VITA um, and also the Bank On program, where we had a number of our participants been op able to open bank accounts, which is just amazing, um, you know, really making them feel like they are really part of a community so really grateful for all that United Way has been able to, um, to, to, to do to support this effort. So my name is Rob Lambert and I'm the president and executive director of Connecticut Counseling Centers. Uh, we are a community-based nonprofit um, and we have two clinics in Waterbury, uh, Connecticut and uh, at these clinics we provide a variety of outpatient behavioral health care services uh, for mental health and substance use disorders. One of our largest programs and one of our fastest growing programs, unfortunately, is our opioid treatment program. So this program provides services to people who are uh, physically dependent or addicted on opioids such as heroin, fentanyl, prescription narcotics. Uh, our partnership with the United Way is vital in ensuring that uh, folks have access to care regardless of ability to pay. Uh, the funding that we get from the United Way uh, helps pay uh, the treatment fees for patients who do not have insurance or do not have access to, in, to insurance, um, or perhaps they have insurance, but because of co-pays and high deductibles, uh, they can't use their insurance. Um, it's very, very important that we try to remove as many barriers as possible. Uh, one of the best ways to address the overdose epidemic is to ensure that people have seamless access to care. Uh, so what this funding does, it removes one of those potential barriers, which is the cost of treatment. Uh, so this is really important funding uh, to ensure that folks uh, who lack financial resources are able to get into treatment when they're ready to come into treatment. Because oftentimes that window of motivation uh, closes very quickly. So we have to be ready. We have to uh, make sure that access is immediate when the person steps forward and says, okay, I'm ready to get help. We value our, our relationship with the United Way has been uh, a long one, um, and we certainly value the help uh, that they've provided. Uh, they've been a great partner in our efforts to uh, address the opioid epidemic. How do you decide who to help and who gets left behind? How do you choose one of these programs to support over another? Thanks to the almost 50 programs and initiatives supported by United Way, luckily you don't have to choose. One gift to United Way does it all. It's how we help every voice be heard. That is the power of United Way. When we know more, we can all do more. Thank you for taking the time to listen and for your support. We'll see you next time on The Way Forward.